UI now supports limits. Go to the permission screen. Right now there's no assignments. We can add one. Now that one assignment caused some other permission resources to inherit and allow. You can only add a limit to a an immediate um, allow. You can search for the either built-in limits or the ones that you created yourself. You can add a value. Note that the limits have a validator so you can um, give some documentation about the limit as you validate it. You can also see documentation about limits on this screen. You can delete a limit. can edit a limit and give the limit a uh, start or end date. If the limit is multi-valued, you could add more values to it. You can delete a value or edit the value of a limit. You can see where the limit is assigned. So now these three rows, Senior Admin Arts and Sciences read, Senior Admin English read, Senior Admin Math read, are all allowed as long as the request comes from this network. So you can simulate the limit by passing in an environment variable and a value and a type. If you don't pass in the right environment variables, you'll get an error that says, what you have to do. So the callers to the web service or whatever need to pass this stuff in. So let's say I'm um, 1.2.3.15 Oops. And this is text. That IP address is on the network, so these are still allow. If I have an IP address which is not on the network, then these are now deny. So that's how you can simulate that your limits are working based on the environment variables that the caller is going to pass to grouper or is going to use to calculate the limits itself. If you want to stop processing limits, you can do that here.